this is Julen, aka Preems, and I'm gonna talk to you about a special way you can work with your loops. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a loop. We're gonna choose a drum loop that I got from the Afro Latin Loop Masters pack, which is amazing. See how this sounds? Okay, that'll work. Now, I'll throw this loop into an audio track. First thing I do is I make sure that it's same BPM and we already know that it's 140 BPM because we cheated and we got that loop. So no warping really needed. But we're gonna warp it anyway. Press warp and then press loop to make sure it's on a constant loop, right? Okay, everything seems to be working fine. Next thing we do is we change this warping mode from complex to beats. Okay, and then under transients and preserve, there's a group of arrows in a box that we can check and you choose the one, the one arrow pointing to the right. Okay, now since we have this on transient mode, if we bring this box down to zero, we can see what the mode actually does. And it'll only play the transients that it thinks are most prominent. So technically, it's working as a gate in all of the powerful sounds it'll let through and all of the quiet sounds it'll just keep completely quiet. Now, a better way to hear this is, is instead of transients, you switch it to, let's say, fourth note. Now it only plays whatever sound is on that fourth note. We can bring this box from zero closer to 100 to get more of the actual loop until at 100 you get the raw loop. Now, now the whole sound is in. Now you see how useful this technique may be for buildups for anything, right? For intros. So our problem is that we cannot automate this. We can't map it to a macro. It won't show up in automation. So what we do is we take another trap and we sample it while making those changes. I'm going to do that by audio from in into the audio coming in from the track that we want to sample. And then I record enable that. And I have to make sure I'm ready to play with this so that we can make the changes that we want to record. So I'm going to start now. I'm going to slowly bring this up as if it's a build that I'm trying to make. Okay, I think it sounds good. Make sure that's looking good. And as you can see, towards the end of this, where I push the transients box number to 100, you can see the whole loop waveform is powerful and, it, and as you can see, it's the strongest it gets. Now to see how that sounds. See, we got all of that variation from just this loop. As you can see, there's tons of applications we can use this for. We can use it for vocals, for bass, for drums, for melodies, anything. And you're going to get some very unique results as you try that. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Enjoy producing.